Let It Be. Uh, I put this in my 70s section because technically Let It Be was released in 1970, uh, which was the the year that the Beatles broke up, 1970, 1971. Uh, but the album was released in 1970, um, so that's why I put it in the 70s section, even though the recordings from this album are from 1969, 68, 69. I think it's definitely the worst of the Beatles albums. Um, a lot of people have mixed feelings about Let It Be. Um, I, st I still believe in the Paul is Dead conspiracy. Here you see Paul's uh, face is... His square is has a red background, you know, blood red. All the other Beatles have a white background, so they're still alive. Uh, also, uh, they decided to grow facial hair at that time because... Um, they wanted to block the scars on Paul's face because uh, the, the person who replaced Paul McCartney got surgery to make himself look more like Paul. So that is also why the microphone is blocking his mouth here um, so that you don't see, uh, you know, the facial hair will block the surgery scars. So if, if he's going to get facial hair, it's going to look suspicious if it's only him. So they had the rest of the boys do it. I know John doesn't have any, but, you know, they got their mustaches, George and Ringo. Ringo looks so fucking depressed here. <laughs> um, Let It Be is a good album. It is. But it's got a lot of duds on it. And I watched the recent documentary that I thought was pretty great. And as a lot of recordings from that era that wound it up on Let It Be and the Hey Jude album, and some that appeared probably on the White Album, if I was Phil Spector, I would not have included certain tracks on here. I would have removed them and put in other tracks that I heard them play in that new documentary. So Phil, you know, was kind of a nitwit because he didn't include all these other good recordings that they actually fucking made. And now and only, the only way you can hear these fucking recordings is if you watch that documentary. Dig It is terrible. Maggie Mae is terrible. Four Year Blue is actually a great song by George, but I don't like the mix on the Let It Be version album. It sounds good in the in the new documentary, um, where it's it was all raw. I don't know why, uh, like they didn't just include the way it sounded there because that sounded way better there. You would never know that Four Year Blue would, was such a good song unless you see this in the documentary. Because hearing it on this, you're like. You listen to it and you're like, man, I don't know. Ugh. I love the long and winding road. I do understand why Paul had a problem with the the version Phil Spector uh, tinkered with on this album because he added the orchestra music to the background. But I still love the orchestra music, in my opinion. If you listen to Let It Be Naked, uh, which was kind of like the an alternate mix of the Let It Be album. Uh, it includes a, a trimmed down version of what Paul wanted The Long and Winding Road to sound like. But I think The Long and Winding Road is one of the best songs on this album. I Mean Mine is great. Across the Universe, great. Dig a Pony is pretty good, actually. Actually, Dig a Pony is fucking great. But you have to, that's one of those songs you have to listen to a thousand times to understand how Dig a Pony is great. I mean, at least to me. Two of Us is pretty good. I Got a Feeling is great. One After Nine or Nine didn't need to be included. It was neat that the boys played it again because they played it during the late 50s um, before they became big. Because that song's actually that old. They didn't make it up. It's like from that time or whatever. So it's neat hearing them play it again when they're all older. And it sounds, you know, okay, but... That should have been left as like an outtake. They should have included something else instead of it. <laughs> 